Osvaldo, thank you so much for inviting me down to your site, Zimac in the Bologna. It's my first time to Bologna. Um, we met on uh, LinkedIn, didn't we? Correct. We, we had a meeting, first meeting in LinkedIn. And then we did a video call, which lasted, I think, half an hour, 40, 40 minutes, something like that. It was really nice. Yeah, and uh, we met each other uh, in also in the way to think. So I invited him to come in Bologna to visit Zimac and to test our product and uh, to give us a suggestion. And it's been a real eye-opening week for me. Uh, I've learned a lot and i worked with Marcello, worked with the team here, Osvaldo and Coralie and uh, Raphael and then the rest of the team as you've seen. And uh, we're going to sum that up shortly but first I just want to ask Osvaldo a few questions about how he got to where we are now. Osvaldo, please let me know about, a little bit more about your business because I only know what I found on the internet and what I've experienced here this week. Oh yes, that is an in interesting story. I never had an accident in my life. Touch wood. Okay. Yeah. But uh, because I was in transport field involved, so expert school there. But in 2001, I bought a small company that uh, was in bankrupt uh, from the bank that was developing a technology to dry paint. What made you decide to just buy a business that was going to was going to be going bankrupt? Zero employee, zero customer, zero everything. Just uh, an just idea. you, just me. Uh, when I opened was a three hundred square meters warehouse. And to, what have you got now? Sixteen thousand. Okay. Right. Okay, square meters, one hundred sixty thousand square feet, and. Uh, I hired an engineer, I established a relationship with the Bologna University to develop the technology. I hired the first technician, so we developed the first robot that was a very primitive robot. Which is what led on to the fly dry? That arrived later. The okay. first one was robot dry. Robot dry? Yes, the most difficult machine. I didn't start from the easy one, I started from the most complicated. <laughs> but that's the best way, isn't it? You learn from your mistakes. <laughs> yes. And uh, I was, uh, in any way, also in my previous business, interested in process more than in product itself. Mm -hmm. So immediately I developed the SPP, SEMA Paint Application Process, to reduce time. And then uh, I developed uh, one, two new products per year. And so when we arrived around 2008, uh, we were ready to supply uh, and to sell a complete concept, a complete uh, body shop. Is that when Fixline came into yes, yes, exactly. involvement, right? Okay. Yeah. Fixline uh, is uh, not uh, one product, it's a solution. Okay. Yes. You've, you've probably seen the video. Uh, with regards to the fixed line, Marcello and I, Marcello is a technical trainer here, we did the process taking us through the fixed line. There's a couple of sections that we, we didn't use because obviously this is a technical training centre and that's not part of the line in this, in this um, centre. But you get a really good idea of how it moves from one bay to the next bay, given each, te uh, each employee or tech his own responsibility for that section. Correct. Uh, is uh, like an assembly line in the factory. Yeah. Is uh, a modern way, is an industrialized way to repair car. Now I told you my story and what do you think about uh, your week in SEMA? Well, let's go back to our, our um, LinkedIn email that you sent me. I was really surprised to get that. Um, Obviously, that sort of came about because of your UV light, didn't it? Yeah. And Stephen Healer getting yeah. in touch with me. Um, so, it, it opened the door and I was really interested and I was, I was genuinely taken aback by the invite because it's, it's the first time that something like that has ever been offered to me. Um, and, I, and I thought to myself, I thought, and I showed you on the video didn't, when we had the conference call, yeah. I said, you know that I only work in a small little workshop. It's just me here. And I, and I gave Osvaldo a quick little tour around my, my workshop. And I said, look, please don't expect that I'm coming from a big fancy workshop to you. Um, and, I, and in fairness, I'm not even in the field that you cater for, really. Yes. 
So it, it was a, quite a humbling invite and, I, and I'm pre, still really appreciative of it. But my week, so my week, I'm going to sum this up also in a little video later, just the whole video. But to answer your question, um, it's been a real eye opener for me. I can see where the processes can be implemented into larger shops. Um, it, it obviously can't be used in, in my sort of scenario, but then I am quite a unique scenario because it's just me. Um, I specialize in smart repairs. I don't have the turnover of vehicles that you know, that makes this a profitable, profitable business. Yeah. But saying that, it, that does not mean that there are not products that you have that I can't take away with me and use. So like the UV technology, which I'm already implementing in my repairs. Uh, and we've, we've sort of come up with some new designs on that, which is, I'm looking forward to seeing. And there's also the Drytron, which is a small gas infrared lamp. Again, you may have seen that in my videos. That's something that I can incorporate into my smart repair center. And I can see that being beneficial to curing Villa or Bondo, like the Americans want to call it. So it's, it's been really, really nice. Um, it's my first time ever to work in a spray booth. Believe it or not, 20 years I've been doing this business. Um, I am self-taught, but to be able to spray in a spray booth with Marcello was quite an experience. Just the way things dry quickly and it went on. Uh, so I've learned, I've learned a lot and I've really appreciated my, my opportunity to be invited here. My pleasure. Wait, never say never that in the future you will become an owner of a big network body shop, large body shop in the world. Can happen. It can happen, but I don't know. I kind of <laughs> like my little world, really. I like the opportunity to come out and see people like you. And that's... Look, let me just say this to you guys. I like a stress-free life. <laughs> and, okay, so this week's not been stress-free. It's been... We've done quite a lot in the in our working day from eight to five, and uh, it's started off nice and cool in the morning, and then the temperatures built up. My cello and I have got our suits on. We're in the booth. We're sweating. All the good videos that I've done with Osvaldo have been in the morning when it's nice and cool and we look fresh, not when we're absolutely hanging. But and you've experienced that. I mean, we've we've done. You've been really good, like my cello. You've been really good. We've had take after take. But we've we've had fun. Would you say we've had fun? Absolutely. Have you have you found my visit beneficial? Have you absolutely because uh, a person, the value of the person is not uh, about the dimension of the business that he has, is about the idea that he has, and uh, you uh, you have a lot of a good idea, and you give us a lot of good uh, suggestion for our product. That is uh, the value. And I want to say, just add on to that, I know I have commented on this when I did the um, tool cart yep. video and just a couple of the suggestions that we came up with it. I actually, I liked that. I liked that I could suggest something to you and you took it on board and it just wasn't blah, blah, blah. So that was, Absolutely. That was good. Thank you. My pleasure. Osvaldo, have you got any projects coming up in the future? Yeah, I, I love R&D, so research and development. I built a company to have this role, and so we have in the pipeline four products, very important for next year to reduce the number of hours per car, so improving efficiency and so on. Something I can see? You have to wait. Oh. <laughs>